being school ready enables your child to have a confident start because often when they're asked to do something if they're not quite ready it will just inhibit them slightly and moving into a new building or from straight from home can have a really really sort of almost overpowering effect on them so if they're able to do things it just cushions that blow from leaving mum or their key person from another setting that they've got very familiar with. So at home, being able to sit down, being able to sit down and listen for a prolonged period of time, sitting down when they're eating, really important. Lots of children seem to have little snacks and kind of run around with them. Really important to be able to, for your child to be able to sit down when they're eating, know that they go and wash their hands before they come to a snack table or before they eat. Make sure that they can start using utensils when they're eating. So first start off with a spoon, obviously, and then move on to cutting things, spreading things, using the fork to pick up bits of pasta, bits of apple. Um, so using utensils is a real important one. The other one is getting rid of your bottles. So your child really doesn't need a bottle to drink from. They need to use a cup and be able to do that independently. So if you can start that at home, and then when they come to school, we can support your child with that. That would be fantastic. Other ideas to help your child is with the toileting. That's often a major stumbling block for many parents as well as their child. Um, please don't be anxious about it. If your child still needs assistance, then the teachers will be able to help, but please make them aware. But to help your child further, encourage them to try and be as independent as possible with um, the toileting, i.e. that they can go to the toilet by themselves. They don't always need to tell the adult within a school setting or a unit setting that they are able to take down their own clothing. So therefore you need to make sure that clothing is appropriate for them and that they've had a lot of practice at home and that when they're finished, they can flush the toilet and wash their hands. Obviously we will be on call should your child need some. And if you know your child has got a difficulty with that, then please inform the key person who will make a concerted effort to ensure that your child is happy with the toileting aspect. Parents can help us especially by ensuring that their child can you know, recognise their own name, say their own name, um, take them to groups in to enable them to be socialised. Helping them, support them in lots of different strategies to be able to firstly take off their own coat, maybe change their shoes if they need to, um, to become social and chat with other children, to know what it means to have a healthy diet. Um, to be able to be physical, to be able to run and jump and climb, to ride a bike, all those things are needed in the social aspect of being at preschool. You know, look at this leaflet and things that are contained in here, which are all very, very vital things. And the more you can do to help your child in these areas, the more successful their transition would be.